Math 083 Final Exam Review Problem 16 Parts D and G Here in Problem 16 we must multiply and simplify if possible. We can use the FOIL method to multiply here. 7 times 6 the F, the first of FOIL, that gives us 42. The O, or outside of FOIL, is 7 times negative 2 square root of 5. Notice how I capture the negative sign, the minus sign. Positive times negative is negative. 7 times 2 is 14 times square root of 5. The inside, the I of the word FOIL, positive times positive, square root of 3 times 6 is 6 square root of 3. And the last of FOIL, the L, positive square root of 3 times negative 2 square root of 5. Positive times negative is negative. The whole number is 2. We can multiply the radicals and get square root of 15. This turns out to be our answer because there are no like terms and because we can't simplify any of the radicals. Let's move to part G. Exponents never distribute over addition signs or subtraction signs. In other words, we can't square the 2 and square the radical here. That is totally mathematically illegal. What we can do is interpret the second power as repeated multiplication. x plus square root of 3 times x plus square root of 3. And then FOIL. The first, x times x, is x to the second power, x squared. The outside is x times square root of 3. The inside happens to be the same, x times square root of 3. And the last, square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9, which is 3. These two terms are like terms. We have one set of x square root of 3 plus one set of x square root of 3 that gives us 2x square root of 3 and we fill in the other terms. And this is our final answer.